Hello everybody and welcome to this Monday's Basics of Electronic Banking. I'm the Payments Professor and today I'm going to talk about RDC or Remote Deposit Capture. What is Remote Deposit Capture or RDC? Well, it's that. It's Remote Deposit Capture. I get this question a lot and I want to go ahead and just iron it out there. Even though it's something that's been available since well, October 28, 2004 when it was passed by Congress. But it's neither here nor there. That would have been a great extra credit question. Hmm. I'll have to fe feature that in a future video. So just remember that's the answer to when did we get RDC officially? October 28th. 2004. Now, remote deposit capture is nothing more than the capability of being able to take a picture of a check and use that picture to create a substitute check. There's the key part right there. What really happened with RegCC is it made the legal equivalent of the original check to be the paper substitute check that's created from printing the image. Even though we do now recognize the electronic images more, it's really the substitute check where a lot of the power is in there, and that's what we're doing. But in its basics, all you're doing with remote deposit capture is you're just taking a picture of a check and you're sending the picture of the check in an electronic file. I tell people all the time when they're first starting to work with entries and transactions or in the banking world that all we're really doing in the banking world is sending messages back and forth that say to move money around. When we do so with an electronic image, it's the same as messaging your friend, but you're using Snapchat because you're sending an image to go along with it. So think about it is it's remote deposit capture is like the Snapchat of sending money. Now, having said that, I know Snapchat used to have an app for sending money. It's not that. It is, again, it's taking a picture of a check front and back and sending that picture front and back along with the associated information. Now, remote deposit capture is its official name in the industry. You know, here it called RDC. However, at your financial institution, wherever you bank or work, it can be called a bunch of different things. And that's called branding and marketing. What we saw as Remote Deposit Capture came into the industry, people came up with all these different names of what they refer to of how you can do it. I mean, I've seen Mobile Deposit Now, Instant Checking Imaging, uh, all kinds of different names that really equal to the same thing, Remote Deposit Capture. So if you're talking to somebody and they bring it up, hey, this is the name of the service, and you're like, no, it's the name of this, and you're like, what's the difference? The difference is just the name. It's really the same thing. It's like saying, would you like to have a Coke, a pop, or a soda? Depending on where you are, you know, and there's been t results and tests on this that say, hey, it's this, 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 wherever you live, you know, what's the official name? It's the same thing with remote deposit capture. It's just really identifying that we're taking a picture of a check to be able to send it. Well, then I'll have people ask me and they'll be like, so is that like when I, I send my check to pay my bill and then I look on my statement and I can see where the check's there, but I don't see the check? And what I will tell them is, well, when you click on it, can you see the check then? Sometimes they say yes, and then I'll say, yes, that's remote deposit capture. Sometimes they'll say, no, I click on it and I don't see anything. And then I'll ask them, well, beside it, does it have to say something like ACH? And they'll say, yes. Well, in that case, that's ACH check conversion, and that's where we don't send the check. We actually send it through the ACH network. Remote deposit capture is when we do send a image of the check along with it instead of converting it over to ACH, which there are videos. If they're not already out there, they're definitely coming on what we call ARC, BOC, and POP. Those are SEC codes that are specifically for being able to convert checks and use them across the ACH network. Whereas remote deposit capture, it stays to check law. It stays to check channels. And it is where we take a picture of the check and we send it across. Now, where can this check image be captured? Most of us are aware of using our phone. We can use our phone, take a picture of the front and back and send it in. But we also see at businesses, they have the bigger, larger scanners. I, I've historically referred to them as the big bricks. And they're not really bricks. In fact, a lot of them are very sleek and very nice now. They're for higher volume merchants who are able to take those checks in and they can take a high volume of them, stick them in there. The checks get scanned and a file gets created and they get submitted. We also see remote deposit capture is available at your ATMs. You can go up to the ATM and you can insert your check there. It will scan it and allow it to be deposited into your account. Really cool. We see remote deposit capture work at tellers too, where they can take a physical check and they can scan it in. Remote deposit capture, folks, just to put it simple, is nothing more 
than taking the physical check and making it into an electronic format that allows us to be able to transfer it. Because back in the day, back before 2004, checks had to physically move from location A to location B. Well, really it was from the bank of first deposit to the paying bank. So if I had a check that maybe was drawn, gonna be drawn on a bank, say in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. My sister is here visiting from Anchorage, Alaska. I really have a sister in Alaska. And she were to be here and she were to cash a check at say my bank here in Tampa. Well, that check would actually physically have to go from Tampa all the way up to Alaska. Physically, think about it, it took a lot of time. It took a lot of money, it was quite expensive. So remote deposit capture, it allowed us to remove a lot of the, well, inefficiencies that came with paper processing, gave us the ability to speed up the process because think of how fast you can send an email or a text from Tampa to Alaska. I know from experience, it just takes seconds. And that's what you have, in essence, the capability of doing with remote deposit capture. So the next time you hear somebody talk about some branded name or marketing service, just know they really mean remote deposit capture. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. Hope you learned something. If you got any questions, got any concerns, got any comments, please put them down below. Send me a message or you can email me, Kevin at paymentsprofessor.com. I'd love to hear from you. Any future topics, uh, let me know. I know many of you know. All you gotta do is make the request and like today, this video, boom, it will be done for you. Hope you have a great Monday and an awesome week.